Alrighty, it says we're live, so hello. Welcome to a Monday show. <laughs> um, happy Monday, happy beginning of the week, happy uh, work week-ish, uh, happy 20th of June. Tomorrow is the official beginning of summer. <laughs> um, so for those of us who have already been experiencing the heat wave for like only now, <laughs> um, just like we were still in spring, what? Um, yes, so tomorrow is the solstice and um, in some ways I'm, I guess, looking forward to it being officially summer. Um, that way I feel like, <laughs> um, you know, there are are reasons for it to be so hot. Um, I mean, global warming and everything is another reason, but whatever. Um, but yes, so tomorrow is the summer solstice. solstice and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm planning to do a tarot spread for tomorrow or during tomorrow kind of um, to reset for quarter three because that's going to be coming up. Um, and just sort of getting my mind right for quarter three, heading into July, heading into camp, heading into the last second half of the year. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so there is that. But are we taking care of ourselves? Did we have a good weekend? Are we ready to take on this week? Um, I have tea. Um Green, caffeinated green tea. It looks very, very pale because it's iced and all that kind of fun stuff. But um, I've already had one large glass of it this morning. Um, it has not kicked in caffeine wise. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this second cup will do uh, that. And then um, I gave my dad goldfish for uh, like the, the snack cracker goldfish uh, for Father's Day because that's one of his favorites. And so he shared a bowl with me. <laughs> He's like, here, here's a snack. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. So I have I have snacks and hydration today, which is fantastic. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have a particular topic to sort of ramble about other than like, hey, it's Mars the solstice. <laughs> um, but I am trying to hydrate more because... Um, I, I do like all the salty snacks, she, she says, as she is planning to eat, you know, more salty goldfish. Um, so I have to hydrate. <laughs> I have to make sure that I hydrate because I, I do eat, I prefer, in, in some ways, I prefer the, the salty snacks on a regular basis. So I have to hydrate to counteract that. <laughs> so definitely hydration is in order. Uh, Catherine, hello. You're grabbing lunch and we'll be right back. Excellent. And Miriam is grabbing an Arizona fruit punch. You've been craving it all day. Let's get ready to write. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, I just realized. Okay. Yes. Okay. I can do it from here. Excellent. So the 20th, which is today, is the anniversary of the first steamship voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. So in 1819, the SS Savannah left from Savannah, Georgia, um, <laughs> and it took 29 days and 11 hours to uh, have that steamship make its way over to uh, Cork. Um, so there you go. The anniversary of the first Atlantic steamship voyage is today. Um, BA says, hey, hey, y'all. Hello. Uh, and this is where I was asking, <laughs> do you have a hydration? Do you have a snack? Do you have a, an idea of what the heck we're working on today? Um, I at least have two out of the three and an inkling on the last one. <laughs> uh, CV says, I'll be doing dishes during this stream. Fair enough. 14 years ago tomorrow, you saw Bon Jovi for the first time. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Jenna says, hello. Hello. Amy says, hello, and waves. Hello. <laughs> uh, Christy says, good morning, eating breakfast and preparing to write the first chapter of the third book in your mur murder mystery trilogy. Ooh. 
nice. You're beginning the sort of like climactic element of the series. Nice. Cool Gamer says, hello. Hello. Megan is here and says, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and Jenna says, I have already had a huge glass of water. You're also going to write a lot this week to figure out a better schedule for yourself. Yes. Um, I think at one point I wrote down sort of like what an ideal day would look like with either seven or eight hours of like just writing, not all at once, but like at least seven or eight hours, um, dedicated to writing. Um, maybe one of these days I will like put that ideal schedule into play. Maybe I should vlog it and see if it's actually ideal. <laughs> um, Megan says, I submitted an essay that you wrote to a publication and now you're anxiously checking your email every few minutes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, like even though our brain is like, they won't have had time to write to, to read it yet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, yes, the, the, the obsessive email check. <sighs> yeah. CB says, I bought a set of the Spirit Animal Oracle cards. You did? Yay! That's exciting. I hope you I hope you like them. I hope you enjoy them. Um, Jenna says, oh, how exciting to Megan. Yes. Waiting on that answer for publication. Uh, Monique says, hey, everyone. Hello. And you spent the morning outlining on your new draft. Excellent. You got up to chapter 15, which is the homecoming dance. Nice. BA is going to be working on setting up your new planner, the Clever Fox Planner, and then onto some work in your work in progress. Nice. Excellent. CB says, I might see if I can get some goldfish crackers when you're in Houston. You might be nice to have a savory snack for Nano in November. Yes. Um, although I really, <laughs> so this will also tell you, so um, Aldi has a sort of like a knockoff brand. They call it, I think it's Savorids or Benton House, one or the other. Um, either way, they have a knockoff of a lot of brand name things. And they have a knockoff of goldfish, but it is not goldfish shaped. It is sea turtle shaped. <laughs> and you can get a massive box for about the same size as, as you would get like the regular container of goldfish. Um, so I also thought about getting my dad those, but I was at the store where they had regular goldfish. So <laughs> I bought him the official brand. Um, but yeah, so you might want to try the, the turtles from Aldi if you get a chance. <laughs> uh, Jenna says, I have a great schedule. You had a great schedule when the teen was in school and then summer started and you just lost your drive. However, this is your job now and writing needs to happen. Yes. Um... Monique is asking if CB is in Houston. I think this is for the vacation plan. Uh, Bonnie is here. Hey, got lots of writing to do today. Looking forward to all the sprints today. You've got 80, wow, 8,500 words left to go for today. Oh, are you, are you doing a 10 or a 12? I can't remember if you, if you said, I can't remember. Um, Monique says, my goals for today work on your way. Work your way to the first encounter with the big bad duchess and work on your return of the king presentation. Nice. Jenna says, you're my hero. <laughs> yes, that's an amazing amount of words. Uh, CB says, no, I'm in the UK. I'll be visiting Houston in September. And CB got the flamingo card for today. Oh, that's a good one too. Nice. We do not have the flamingo for today. We have something else I have already pulled. So, gotcha. Bunny is beast. Uh, Bunny says, this is due to your procrastinating over the weekend and not writing for the last two days. <laughs> I gotcha. So you have to play catch up. Uh-huh. understand that too. Uh, today's word goal is 10,500. Pushing past that 10K. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we have our card for today. It is in the inverse position, upside down. And it is our friendly skunk on a little sunflower slash daisy type thing. Know your worth is the main message of our skunk friend. But again, it is in the inverse position. So upside down. 
Um, and here we go. Not everyone will appreciate you. Many people have issues of their own to address, and you may trigger something in them. But if so, no matter. The skunk calls you to be fully yourself without apology. Now is a time for honesty and admitting that something does not sit right with you. You deserve the self-respect that comes when you courageously choose to stand up for yourself and speak your truth in love. Remember who you are and what really matters to you and in act with integrity. You will be very glad you did. Hmm. So there you go. There is our skunk friend. Not everybody's going to appreciate you, huh? <laughs> Isn't that the truth though? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Um, you deserve the self-respect that comes when you courageously choose to stand up for yourself and speak your truth in love. Remember who you are and what really ma matters to you. Those are very good messages, but uh, skunk in the inverse is definitely like not playing games. <laughs> Just like, you got to recognize that not everybody's going to like you. Um, so it's a good card. Very good card. All right. Uh, where were we? Um, I came I come across a lot of posts from over the years about getting two hours of sleep. You're always so tired. Yeah. Um, Megan says, I'll never be able, I've never been able to do a 10K day. I've done it a few times, but it always makes me worthless for like the next three days. So maybe that's because I'm not disciplined enough to like work my way up to doing that regularly. I don't know. Um, or if that's just like an unrealistic expectation for me. <laughs> um, reminds you of the skunk from Bambi. From Bambi. It's super cute. Yes, it's so cute. Never thought you said that about skunk. Well, we can say it's cute because it's not in our presence and a danger to our olfactory senses. <laughs> uh, Emmy says, my goal for the day is to work on a potential Patreon content. Cont uh, currently seeing if it would be happy to make any downloadable pages of mood trackers and coloring pages. Ah, okay. Uh, I, okay. Jenna says I can do 10 K's, but they wear you out. Yeah. Misha says, hi, everyone just got another load shedding power outage. Oh no. Kept your stream going until your laptop battery ran out, went to the bathroom, uh, then settled into bed to listen to a podcast only for the power to turn back on just as you're pulling the covers over your body. No, no, <laughs> not fair. It's just not fair. Oh, CB says I need to defrost the chicken tomorrow and marinate it on Wednesday. Yes. Uh, Monique says, thanks for that, Jules. I was considering changing the POV for your novel to third person limited due to what your editor said. If it makes more sense to you to have it in your current perspective. Bonnie says, oh yeah, Jenna, I have definitely had short sleep nights like that, but I can't hang on all night these days as long as you're in bed by 10, 11 p.m. you're usually good though oh oh we are chatty today okay sorry I just the chat jumped and I was like oh <laughs> there's a lot uh, Monique says my friends on Twitter told me that I need to stick with what you have Jenna says oh no to Misha just Eva is here. Hi all, just joining. You can actually write along the entire time today. Nice. Uh, Misha says, kind of weird when that one comes up, given that you are submitting a tender. Maybe. Very maybe. <laughs> That's what, one of the things that I love about these, these cards. These messages are so appropriate for so many of us. Um, Jenna says, I used to be addicted, oh, used to be addicted to energy drinks and you would write all night. It was not good. You need your sleep these days because you're old. Well, in general, people do need sleep. Um, <laughs> otherwise we start to go insane. 
Uh, Misha says, lol to Jenna. Yeah, my immediate response was definitely something along the lines of FML. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you're allowed two cups of caffeinated coffee per day because more basically screws up your adrenal function again. Mm. You had a cat that used to play with a skunk outside and never got sprayed. They were friends and it was so cute. Nice. Just Deep says, didn't keep fast track. I did not keep fast drafting this book number two, but you are doing a reread of it so that it feels like you can get back on track. You're reading chapter five now and drafting begins again at chapter six. Uh, the goal today is to finish drafting through chapter eight. Nice. Um, Misha says, hi, guess who could have still streamed if your laptop batteries lasted more than 10 minutes? There, no. So frustrating. Um, two hours of sleep is not a realistic, healthful, a healthful expectation of anyone. Correct. Have I done it? Yes, as a grad student, but there was a price. Absolutely. At that point, though, I would rather just stay up the whole time because I, I know if I try to get to sleep, uh, I will be even worse shape trying to get up <laughs> that quickly again. I, I don't do well with short naps. Um, Jenna says, I can imagine, Bunny, I was a hot mess back then. Just Eve's also doing the laundry. Another goal for today. The silver lining is you get to support me. Yes, it is. <laughs> but I'm, that's really, like, very frustrating for you. So, um, Just Eve says, Misha, is your power back up? Yes. Um, Bunny says, it does make for a long day, but you'll get, take, but you'll take it. Since you had the weekend off to do stuff with your family and get in some shopping. Gotcha. Um, Catherine says, Misha, we were hoping they would skip you. This is a good thing, sort of. <laughs> uh, Jess has had to work two jobs at the time. Now you write full time with much healthier lifestyle. Yes. They turned it on early, less than 10 minutes after you signed off. The timing of it all. Yes. Um... Not complaining, you can keep typing while you have the momentum. Yes. Uh, Eva's laptop won't stay charged either. You're lucky if you get 20 minutes. Next time I upgrade, my tech will be smarter with your battery. Yes. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. All right. I think we've been chatting for close to 18 minutes. Um, so I think... Are y'all wanting a 20 or a 25 to start us off? Misha votes for a 25. Either works, but I'd pick 25. All right. We will go with the turtle. Alrighty. Okay. So, uh, did I say what I was working on? No. Um, and that's partially because I'm not entirely sure. Um, I was reworking the motivation for character scene yesterday. I think I got done with that. Um, so now I am turning over the next plot point, um, which is good. It's progress. Um, so that's one of the things I could be working on. I also could be working um by hand and I may do that for the first sprint for some planning of some things some scripting for maybe some possible videos um so yeah all right one save your document especially if you've already been working today if not now's a great time to pull it up Two, make sure that you have something to hydrate with. I have green tea, as I said. Three, make sure that if you... Nope, number three is the spine. Straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. And four, if you need a break, take a break. There we go. That's the right order. <laughs> All right, 25 minutes in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right, that was sprint number one. How'd we do? Um, Okay, sorry, I'm jotting down ideas. Um, okay, um, I did decently. I've been doing sort of like bullet points and, and jotting down ideas for um, a script for something um, video wise. So hopefully it'll do pretty well. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I don't do well if I have to like memorize like a particular um, monologue, but I do want to sort of like get my thoughts down so that I know where the conversation is going to go. Um, and Monique, no. Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So I did, I killed off a pen. Um, I was like, this is getting like, why is it skipping all? And then it just like, wouldn't write, uh, other than it was a, it was a uh, black pen. Um, but it just like, wouldn't do other than gray. And I'm like, is this already out of ink? <laughs> um, it is one of the ones that I've been using for the, the majority. Like I've been gravitating towards that pen. So I killed it off. I do have a twin. Um, so the inner gel, Pentel inner gel, um, this one still has the little nubby bit on it. Um, so I still have a brand new one of those. Um, but I reached for a paper mate ink gel also in black because why not? Um, because why not? Because you have all these other colors. <laughs> it just happened to fit <laughs> what I wanted to do, I guess. I don't know. It's the one I reached for. Uh, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have all these other colors and I like, <sighs> whatever. Eventually. I have been trying to make a, uh, a concerted effort to use my other colors because otherwise they're just going to sit there. Um, but I just happened to reach for an old favorite, <laughs> always a black pen. Um, no, not really. I have, I also have a like hot pink pen. Um, and then I've been using these other two pens recently, three pens actually. Um, so these were my other colors of choice recently. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. Enough about my pens. Uh, but anyway, I said another one bites the dust and Megan quite quickly picked up the tune. <laughs> um, and just even says great song to request to do at a wedding. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so Monique missed most of the sprint due to lunch. Still have to clean out the dishwasher and check the laundry. Um, it is Monday. Productivity things abound. You need some help. You want to figure out how you can change up the first encounter with the big bad vampire duchess while making sure that your characters stay alive. Um, I think this depends on how you characterize your uh, big bad vampire duchess. If she is sort of like the type of character who would um, think it sort of like beneath her to deal with them, they might escape that way. Or if she lets them go because she wants to play with them and torture them more, um, you could go that way. Or depending on if you intend to have her have a redemption later, um, she can have some sort of feeling of empathy and let them go for some reason or another. Um, so I think it depends on how you build your big bad vampire duchess um, as to how that encounter goes. 
um, or at least that would be a primary thing that I would look at. Um, but yeah, Morgan says, hello, hello, how are you? And Jenna says, only 398, but you had to play mom to a really needy cat. Those needy cats, they're just so needy. Um, Miriam says, wow, 265 words. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you, swimming turtle. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. Um, CV says, got more of the dishes done. Fantastic. Just Eva finished rereading th through chapter five, having added 1800 words to things, uh, this morning in total, and then started drafting chapter six, 319 words in. Excellent. Catherine says to Monique, tell us more so we can help you about the big bad vampire duchess. Misha says, still working on the quotations, trying not to be a total asshole about the costs. Yeah. Um, Monique says, 505 words and just got some pizza delivered. Ooh, what kind of pizza? Are we going like classic pepperoni or Hawaiian or dessert pizza or so what kind of pizza are you getting barbecue chicken margarita <laughs> sorry um but, and can you tell i like pizza uh misha says well not also yeah yeah all the frustrations price wise yes because you don't want a situation that you got into last time um that you were raging about before with the the guy who essentially tried to scam you or con you. Uh, BA says, I got the things I am grateful for, the things you're passionate about, your five focus goals, your mind map for these goals. Got the July a monthly spread set up and the weekly spread for June 27th through the 3rd set up. Nice. Very productive 25 minutes for you. That's fantastic. I... Uh, <laughs> I have trouble doing any of that other than like, I might, I might get like one somewhere between one and three of those done, um, <laughs> in a 25 minute period. Um, all of that in the new planner. Fantastic. Uh, Morgan says hi to Monique. Justiva is also going mm, pizza. Uh, Morgan says I'm working on a blurb right now. So you got draft one of that done. Nice. Uh, CB hates washing dishes. <laughs> you set a 10-minute timer so you can play Bejeweled Blitz. Give yourself a little break. Nice. Emmy finished drawing, but not sure if anybody would like it. Well, if you like it, chances are we like it. The Justice is definitely not the type to get her hands dirty. Ooh, okay. So in that case, um, she might order somebody else to deal with them out of her sight, which would allow for the characters to move away from her, move away from the danger, and also be sort of like dealing with a character who is less potentially dangerous than um, the Duchess. One of your friends suggested that your characters run into the Duchess while out on a field trip. Hmm. Yeah. Plot-wise, the Duchess is making appearances early because she wants to see the threat level for herself. Okay. Um, Megan says, your inbox is still empty. Also read a little bit, was going to start taking notes, but didn't get around to it before the sprint ended. If you were to write a scene from the Duchess's POV, she's basically going to be all stealthy and observe her enemies. Um... Okay. Uh, if she's not the type to get her hands dirty, would she really be the one that is there observing them? Or would she order somebody to follow them and assess them on her behalf? Um, Catherine says, Monique, if she's not likely to get her hands dirty, why not have them overhear her giving evil orders to somebody? Then they can get scared and run like crazy. Do they have to interact? Yeah. I like this. This is also sort of along the lines that I was thinking. Um, okay. With that in mind, uh, 25 or 30, do we want to do another turtle swim or do we want to have the um, rainbow jukebox for 30 minutes? 
Rainbow Jukebox, Rainbow Record Album. <laughs> um, so 25 or 30. Uh, CB votes for another 25, another Turtle Timer. Um, Monique votes for 30, so you can have time to do the dishes. Megan also votes for 25. All right. So we will, yep, we will go with another Turtle Timer. And don't forget, this is sprint number two. Need to change the banner for that. Um, so that means it is self-promo time. If you have something to promote, your YouTube channel, Twitch channel, Etsy, Etsy shop, um, Amazon author page, website, blog, YouTube, um, I already said YouTube, um, social medias, if you have that kind of stuff, make sure that you promote yourself. Uh, practice, you know, saying, I do this, I'm proud of this. Practice promoting yourself. And here we go with our reminders. One, save your document. That's number one. Two, make sure you have something to hydrate with. Cheers. Three, straighten your spine. Roll your shoulders back for that posture check. And four, remember that if you need a break, take a break. It's okay. The turtle will wait for you. <laughs> All right. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one.
I wasn't quite ready. <laughs> I just needed a few more seconds. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I'm going to take those few seconds and do what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Um, Cache came in. I saw that. So yay. Um, hey, loves it super late, but here the heat is kicking my tail for real, for real. Yes. Um, it's, the heat is obnoxious. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm grateful that today is only supposed to get up to like 90, 92. Um, but we are supposed to get up to I think 104 on Wednesday maybe higher <sighs> I'm not looking forward to it um so uh yeah um for real okay um also don't forget that this is the self promo sprint or was the self promo sprint number two um, so don't forget to pop your promo in the chat. Anything that you want to promote and bonus points and gold stars to you if it is writing adjacent. Um, and don't forget to follow your fellow sprinters and writers where you can. Um, spread those subscriptions and likes and comments and all that around the um, interweb and make it a better place. Um, okay. Monique is, um, planning out the field trip. Um, or shopping extravaganza. Um, just even says fire alarm, either a test or somebody pulled it. Maybe another tour is going through with investors or something. And one of them knows a chaperone. Oh, oh, okay. This was, I was trying to figure out if this was something that was actually happening or if this was your idea. Okay. Gotcha. Um, let's see. CB was giving, saying you might want to watch Spider-Man one. Uh, which Spider-Man are we talking about here? Um, <laughs> so, but yes, as some, um, some possibilities for inspiration. Okay, I think, is Heather the first self-promo? I think so. Okay, so Heather is a freelance line editor, copy editor, and proofreader specializing in working with independent authors of speculative fiction. Let me help you make your work shine, she says. Um, CB has 40 um stories on archive of our own under the name pepperoni fan 1982 and videos on youtube under cb394 uh ba says the web page for my current work in progress here's the link it also has a new movie poster that you created Ooh, movie posters nice um and heather says in ad um, addition to freelance line editing copy editing and proofreading. You also do beta insensitivity reads and booking for this fall and you do free sample edits. Laura is here. Hello. How are you doing after this weekend? Um, are you, are you fully recovered your sleep? Um, or are you sort of like still in the process of recovering after the worldwide write-a-thon and hosting and co-hosting on so many streams? Heather can be reached under Heather, Heather Dewey Patet on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Monique is going to go. Dishes need to be cleared out. And here's the contact page for Heather's website. And Heather also has an Etsy shop where you can get art for writers and lovers of fantasy and sci-fi. Um, Heather says hi to Shay. And yes, that's where I was asking. Um, Jenna says going to be hot in California is two. You hate summer. <laughs> um, Marion says me too. I need one more minute. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, Misha just finished writing your tender proposal. Yay! Congrats. That's amazing. And yes, the woohoo face. Uh, <laughs> Jenna says that was only 213 words. Your cat is a hot mess tonight. Oh no. Uh, Miriam got 157 words. Fantastic. Jenna says yay for Misha. BA says, I planned out all the dot journal pages in the back of the planner for your trackers and things like the upcoming school calendar year. Nice. That's fantastic. Laura says, I have a vlog of the Worldwide Write-A-Thon that went live, and there's the YouTube link for that. Excellent. Excellent. See, we got two, oh, the 2002 Spider-Man number one. Gotcha. Bonnie ate your lunch and got 349 words. Excellent. And Laura has a writing advice podcast that is called Twisted Tendrils Horrific Writing Advice. Um, pun on the horrific because she writes horror, if you did not know. Um, Heather says, just created a sale in your Etsy shop. 25% off of everything. Nice. Misha says, forget to self-promo my channel where I run insane productivity marathons. The next one is going to be on Thursday. And here's the link for that. <laughs> Jenna says, He's a, your cat is a hot mess today. It's not tonight yet. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so Catherine wants to know how old the kids in Monique's story are. Um, they, I think it's going to be high school is what she said. Um, but yeah, that does make a difference. So Laura says, I'm so tired. You took a nap during your lunch break a little bit more alive now. Yay. Excellent. Your, uh, Heather's 25% off sale. It looks going to last all week. Uh, Heather says, congrats to Misha. And Shay says, hey, Heather. <laughs> Uh, so it's 91 now, feels like 99. Oh, with a high of 95 or something. Yeah, that's, oof. Yeah, so you're a little, you're definitely higher than us already during the day. Um, and you're a couple hours back, so, yeah. Um, I think, I think, yeah, I don't. Mm, yeah. I don't think it's scheduled to get up above like 90 or 91 today in Georgia, which is nice, but I'm Wednesday's going to be hot. CB says, I'm going to finish those pesky dishes and then clean out the air fryer. Gotcha. 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 Um, Cher, you having to, to sort of redo your schedule of like when you take the pups for a walk. Um, like, are you having to get up earlier so you can just go out when it's cooler or, um, shorter walks or how are you dealing with that? Um, CB says, I got that one. Uh, Jen says hi to Shay. Hello. Yes. Um, Misha says, thanks everyone. Yes. 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 Okay. Um, it is 2.31. Do we want to do another 25 turtle timer or do we want to do a 30 minute? Either one. Um, change this banner. Uh, Monique says either 25 or 30 works for you. Um, Miriam says let's jump to 30. Uh, Cache says, yes, I totally have, have been taking them early in the morning, later in the evening, because it's like the middle of the day times because they're drinking more water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Emmy also has a channel in case <laughs> that's your self promo. I have a channel. Yes. We all got to practice the self promo. Okay. Um, so the 30, this will take us right up to right, right up to, and just past the top of the hour. Um, here we go. Okay. One, save your document. <laughs> Two, make sure that you have something to hydrate with, especially since it's so hot lately. 
And three, make sure that you straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. And four, make sure that if you need a break to get more hydration, to get a snack, to have a little walk around or an extra long stretch, you do that. Take care of yourself as we are writing. Here we go. <laughs> B's like, wait, three 10 minute timers because I like the 10 minute one. <laughs> Yes, our little farting corgi is very cute, but we will we will do the the uh, record player one this time. So, thirty minutes. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, go.
Okay. Um, my computer decided that while I got up to uh, go refill my glass, it was going to do a restart. <laughs> it just rebooted. Uh, and so if you happen to see it, uh, yeah, the screen went blank for a little bit. Um, fun times. Don't forget to save, y'all. Luckily, I was not working digitally, uh, so I don't have to wor worry about that particular um, that particular uh, aspect of things. So yay. Um, <laughs> I was just like, uh. yeah, but I did get a refill on my glass of tea and got a little bit more um, of the scripting done. Um, it's interesting though, because I'm, I've kept a little sticky note by my side. Um, cause when you start thinking about concepts for videos initially, I'm like, I don't know what to film. I don't have any good ideas. I don't have any, you know, content. <laughs> um, and then like you start to kind of think and like, Oh, maybe I do have some things I could film. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to like get my ish together and film and edit these and put them out and like have content on my channel because it if y'all haven't noticed <laughs> I still have the uh <laughs> welcome to 2020 as my, my like main edited video that's up on my my channel the most like one of the most recent ones if the most recent one which is a shame um so yeah um so hopefully I'll be working on getting some more <clears throat> YouTube content as well as more actual written content. Um, hopefully soon. So that's the thing. Um, yeah. Okay. Um... So Laura shared Emmy's channel link. Emmy said thanks. Miriam said go team go. Monique said love the rainbow record. Heather also likes it. Uh, okay, so here's what Monique came up with. Jane, Andy, Connor, and Kat go, go to this up and coming startup company in Houston as part of field trip. Uh, what they don't realize is that this company is a face for the Duchess. She's an investor and she's using the field trip to spy on the enemy. They get offered internships with a lot of perks. Company is based on WeWork. Hmm. Um, and that's where I got rebooted. Miriam is done for the day with a total of 730 words. Nice. Excellent. Monique is feeling good. Really good right now. Yay. I'm glad. Jen got 688 words that time. Nice. Uh, BA got the affirmation section of the planner filled in. Fantastic. Yes. Love that. CB says, I have done zero words today because you were working on stuff for holiday and dental appointment. You are being productive. It is a Monday. It's fine. That's what has to happen sometimes. Monique says, now that I have my set piece, I'm trying to come up with a fictional company name and um, recall the name of the Duchess's Renfield. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Bonnie grabbed your heated rice bag to help with some aches and got 372 words. Excellent. So all told, how many more, how many more words do you have left to do? Because I know you started with uh, 8,500 left. Yes, sounds good. Uh, Laura has an excerpt from us. Cicadas stilled as she passed. Their joyous songs turned to more mournful marches in her wake. Small rocks dug at her bare feet and gripping toes. Tiny lacerations marking her. Bleeding her. Their joyous songs turned from mournful marches in her wake. (sighs) 
I think this sort of depends on what your what your mental image of a mournful march would be, whether or not there would be sound or whatnot with it. Because when cicada is still, it's like your brain has this wave of like something's not quite right because they're so constant, at least here in the South, um, that it would go silent and your brain would be half relief, half like something's odd. Like there's a, a discordant like emotion with that. And then plus um, we come from a Scottish family. So um, any, any type of mourning is done with bagpipes. So, um, so that might, uh, that might your reader's personal experience with like mourning might, sort of like I don't know it might make this a little I don't know I mean I like it but that's sort of like the mournful marches um kind of makes me go Burr. um anyway brain I do like the tiny lacerations, though. Um, got pulled into the kitchen, playing kitchen for a bit. You've written about 800 words since the last time you typed your update. Fantastic. Bonnie has about 7K left, and it's about time for today's second coffee. Fantastic. Um, Catherine says to Laura, I'm not going to play with her yet, whatever her name is. <laughs> um You'll be done with this project in another 2,400 words, but there's always more. Excellent. Did you take that job we talked about, Bonnie? Good question. Um, Heather says, I was doing some promos for your Etsy sale, then took a mental break. Now you're prepping yourself to send an email, an important one that you were working on this morning during Misha's stream. Gotcha. Okay, I know we're a little over time, um, but I kind of want to play the Corgi timer. So if y'all are up for a 10 minute cool down sprint and are willing to stick around for our little farting corgi. <laughs> he makes me so happy. Here we go. Um, VA is like, yes, <laughs> the Corgi. <laughs> um, maybe it should be Joyous Songs cut off with eerie signs. That would make more sense to me. Like that would like fit more with my experience of, of the cicada sound. Uh, just Eva's up for a 10. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, haven't made the final decision yet. Her rate is lower than your norm, but project sounds easy slash fun. Heather says yes, please. Okay. All right. In that case, don't forget to save. Don't forget to sip. Cheers. Make sure you straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. And for make sure that if you need a break, take a break. Here we go. 10 minutes with our si silent farting corgi in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right. That was our, oops, I kicked my stool. Um, that was our 10 minute farting corgi timer. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I have been still working on those um, plans and um, sort of like bullet point script ideas for um, videos and concepts, things that I want to try out with the channel. Um, so yeah, so productive, Not I don't have a word count for today, um, but I have... I feel like I have been successfully productive and that I have planned and brainstormed for, um, for some, some good, good content and good, a good length of time going into the future. So, yay. Um, all righty. Well, hopefully you got some extra things done in that 10 minute window. Um, <laughs> Silent but deadly quirky. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, I did pop Devin's playlist in the chat so that if you need to take a look at that and see where else you can go, there is that. Also, um, it is Monday, which means uh, Glory Writes the Blues and Tom are going to be on um, at four, which will be in about half an hour. I think it's at four. Is it a four or five? Anyway, either way, it's always a good time. The conversations are very enlightening as well as hilarious and fun. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check out all the other people in um, the playlist. Make sure that you are subscribing and liking the videos on um, AuthorTube that you are enjoying. Um, make sure that if you are working, you are saving. <laughs> Make sure you save your documents. Um, Bonnie says, thank you. Got another 229 words in that quick sprint. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, BA says, got my morning and evening routines outlined and added it into the planner. Also put some scrapbook paper on your My Vision Board pages in the planner. Nice. I have, um, I have a vision board that's relatively recent. Maybe I should... Maybe I should do something with that. <laughs> I, I don't have color printer, so like it's just a digital thing at the moment, but maybe I should, I don't know, change my computer wallpaper to it or something. Thanks for a reminder. Um, just Eva says, got another few hundred words. Thanks for the sprints. Fantastic. Um, CB says, I sat on my butt during the last 10 minutes. You rested. That's what you did. You rested. Um, I think it's 9 p.m. here. Gotcha. Thank you for the extra corgi sprint. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, yeah, East Coast is, is it five or? Yes, East Coast is five. Free. Um, and then Paris is six. I know this because I have a friend in Paris and I also have a friend in Jakarta. So <laughs> the time zones are <laughs> very whack for getting us all together. Um, okay. All right, don't forget to save, don't forget to sip, don't forget to do all the stretches and the snacks if you need them, um, and make sure that you are having fun while you write, and I will see y'all um, on Wednesday, and it'll be summer. <laughs> I will see you in the summer. <laughs> all right, bye y'all. <laughs>